Well, good morning. Today we're gonna be doing some winter crappie fishing. My buddy Reno, he's on his way. I want you to love it when the steam, look at this. Look at that. Can you see that? I mean, that is, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you a close up. The steam rising from the lake is always an awesome sight. The sun rising, just about to get the day started. We're gonna, we're gonna find some schooling fish. And uh, today I think we're actually keeping some because Reno's got a buddy that wants some fish. He doesn't fish very much, so we can do that for him. Let me show you this, uh, let me show you this steam. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love mornings like this, man. We're in the dead of winter now. Oh, we had a little critter out here. Check this out. What are you thinking? I'm thinking, I'm thinking raccoon. Let's see, made a visit over here to the boat. Hmm. I don't know what we do about that, but either way, we're putting the boat in the water and Reno's gonna be here in a second, so let's get this going. All right, folks, don't forget to get your lids from Three Pound Fishing at threepoundfishing.com. Folks, we're gonna have a great day. Reno, what are we gonna be doing today? Are we looking for some? I think we're casting for wolf packs. That's it. Yeah, I think you're right. We're gonna we're gonna be looking for wolf packs. We're gonna be looking for schools of fish, and then when we get tired of that, we'll be on brush piles. But I'm gonna show you some stuff on Active Captain, and uh, yeah, we're gonna give you we're gonna give you the whole show today. So let's get on the water. So we scanned a lot of points. We scanned a lot of coves, and honestly, folks, we just didn't find any fish uh, that were schooled up doing what we call being in a wolf pack, which is a close knit of crappie. So we elected to start off on some brush piles to get the ball started. Um, we're st still early in the morning, and we just want to get we want to catch some fish. We're some ang we're anglers. We're, we want to catch some fish. So that's how we're going to start. And as we move from pile to pile, we're going to scan for those wolf packs. Well, that's our first fish on a beautiful morning. It's a small guy, but it is our first fish and I'm stoked to have him. He's going away though. During the winter time, I definitely try to stay off the piles. Those fish usually come up to around nine, eight feet, sometimes even up to four feet. So I stay away as long as I possibly can before I get up on them. And here we are casting through some piles. That's how we start our day off. And as we move from these pile to pile to pile, we're constantly looking for schools of fish. We're looking for those wolf packs. Woohoo! So, 10 footer Ozark rod, three pound fishing elite series. Check them out. K9, six pound high floral, high vis, split shot, and I'm just swimming a bait right across it. Jinko fishing. It's such a beautiful day. We're in the dead of winter and it is gonna be 40, 45 today? 45? No, I thought it was closer to 50. Wow, it's gonna be warm. That'll jack with the fish. I'm gonna show you guys a loop knot, okay? I've showed it a thousand times, but hey, what's a thousand and one? All right, so 30 second ounce head through the eyelet, all the way through, grab the line right here, twirl it around about five times. And then you grab your jig and you put it right back through that loop you held and you just pull it through, that's all it is. Now that little gob of stuff right there that you've created is gonna be what you probably need to wet especially with floral carbon in my opinion, just because it's a smaller diameter. But I don't, because I'm lazy. 
and that is a great loop knot. Now, it might be a little bit big. I'd like it to be closer to the eyelet, but I always target for about half an inch, quarter inch would be perfect. If you make it too big, then the jig will flip up and sometimes get caught up in that, uh, that loop knot. So the water temperatures today are roughly around 50 degrees straight up. We've seen as low as 49, as high as 52, and uh, it's going to be a good eater. But bluebird day, sun up in the sky, it's going to make it hard to get schools, I think. I think it's going to be brush pile fishing mostly. But right now we're casting over a shallow brush pile. Guy makes the team. Oh, he makes the party. He's a good eater. I've talked about it a couple times now about my Facebook group. That group's up over 800 people now. <laughs> we'll get to a thousand, that's gonna be freaking awesome. Check it out at LiveScope, all you need to know. So as you move pile to pile, of course, you're looking for these wolf packs and we finally found one on this trip. I'll tell you, it took all day. Without a doubt, the sun and the clear skies hurt that process. And you know, we don't know what's gonna happen with my home lake with the power plant shutting down. And this could become one of those things where we won't see it as much as we have in the past. But regardless, we found a small one. We started casting to it and had a ball. Fish. This is a better fish, for sure. Probably just a solid eater. Yep, solid eater. Maybe 11, 11 and a half. But it's fun, it's good fishing. And we've got a beautiful day in the winter. My, part, my partner needs a split shot. Find out. Fish Reno. Look how beautiful that is. Stay on them. Stay on them. Very good fish. Best fish of, the, fish of the day so far. So I gotta share with you fine folks. I'm gonna show you active captain is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna okay. show you. There you go. Now Reno's gonna catch a fish for you. Well, Boys. hey, the brush pile's right there. All right, he's gonna catch the brush pile for you. Damn it. I'm always surprised that people don't use active captain more on the YouTube videos, but three pound fishing does. I think it's great. Claire. Clear, 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 because it probably takes time. That's probably why. Okay, all is good. All right, active captain's gonna start. One, two, three. All right, so that's what we're looking at. We've got a big old tree, and then there's a lot of schools that are hanging out around that tree. 
So now what we're doing is sometimes on the tree, sometimes well, I'm not ready to catch one. find a school. So right here. You're seeing exactly what Reno's seeing right now. All right, well, we saw Reno stab a small fish. That's riveting content. <laughs> I might just throw him in the live well. <laughs> no, he don't make the team. All right, so then all we do is we just go around here a little bit, go out. Oh, see, there's something going on there. There's some bait. That's bait. Hey, you fish. folks got an aquarium? All right, those are crappie on top. That's a good school right there on top, 40 feet out. Under the boat now. Hopefully you guys got that. But good eating fish. Don't touch. Don't touch the trolling motor. Yeah, did you guys get that? Yeah, you guys did get. So that's just another. That's a school. We just went from that pile to a school, and that's all we're doing. That's a great active captain an example of what winter fishing here is like. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He says. I don't think pink's the color today. All right, folks, we're going to end it for the day. Thanks for coming along. Me and Reno appreciate it. We had some really good fish. We caught a bunch of them. Check them out. About, a, about 25, which is perfect for the guy that we're going to be giving these fish to. So good time, Reno. That was a good time. All right. A little cold this morning, but. A little cold, but boy, I'll tell you what, it's turned up to be a nice day. So anyway, hope everybody has a great winter. Take it easy. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.